Shalom. Before I get started, I want to say, Call Halayim La, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Racha Kodash, which means our praises to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, in the name of His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai, which is our Lord and Savior, and to the Holy Spirit. Double honors to the apostles and elders of great wisdom who teach and will well, and peace and love to the elect of the nation of Israel. Come back again. Do the spirit power of Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Racha Kodash. On the brother I 9 from Jim S. Memphis County. This lesson will be on this TikTok video I came across. Um, that's D Man's clip. This video for fair use purposes only. So, as you see, it say what this generation is cook. And absolutely, man, this generation got to go. It's an evil world we live in, man. <laughs> right? So, it say her boyfriend thinks she jump in an Uber to go to work, but she really cheating. This generation is cooked, man. You know? So let's play it. A little well in this lesson be edified. I'm on the plantation, so I try to make it straight to the point. And most importantly, you know, that it's be edifying, you know, to the left. Let's get it. Hey. Yo, I'm gonna call you on my brain. Yo, this nigga really think I'm going to work. <laughs> Yo, I just want to put this nigga phone to my house. We going to your house. Get to your house, I need you to blow my back out, like, pound my shit. Like, what is recording? My bad. Quick friend is literally right there. She said, when we get to your house, I need you to blow my back. Bro, come on, bro. It's no way. It's no way. You see in plain sight the box that we're getting. And this box not even nowhere near the park. Eyelash is not slave. This lace front is not slave. Where are your Avery's like flower shirt? It's 2024. You have on a flower shirt. Like it don't even be. I will understand if they hire up. This is a really a a, a one two. We, we, we rate her a one two. If one two is doing this, I don't lost all hope. The population is filled with all many types of forms, shapes, and sizes. Yeah, this proving it right here. This shape shifting right here. But we're cooked, bro. I'ma call you on my brain. Yo, this nigga really think I'm going to work. <laughs> Yo, I just want to this nigga phone to my house. We going to your house. When I get to your house, I'm going to need you to blow my back out. Like, pound my shit. Like, this nigga is recording. Yeah, man. <laughs> this shit is diabolical, man. You know, it's really diabolical. So let's go and get in the scripture. This is, um... So like 25 and 19, all wickedness is but little to the wickedness of a woman, man, and adultery, right? That's a small thing to a woman, committing adultery, man. That's something small. Come on, man. It's like all wickedness is but little to the wickedness of a woman. Every, come on, man. All of it is, you know, it's little. It's, it's a small thing. We know adultery is a sin worthy to death, man, worthy of death, but not to the woman. She don't care. So all wickedness is but little to the wickedness of a woman. Let the portion of a sinner fall upon her, man. Come on, man. And in the same book, verse um, 24, it said, Of the woman came the beginning of sin, and through her we all died, man. These women ain't shit. Just like they say niggas ain't shit, which, <laughs> okay, you right. But you keep opening up your legs, Right, open up your thighs to these no shit ass, no good ass niggas and produce some more GMA, uh, GMO babies, man. So y'all ain't shit. At the, end, the shit goes right back to you, man. You know? But it's say all wickedness but little to the wickedness of a woman, man. And this is Exodus 2014. Thou shalt not commit adultery, man. You're not supposed to be committing adultery. You're not supposed to be committing adultery at all, man. That's the same word of death, man. The scriptures say what you like and understand it. Probably 6 and 32, I believe. I said, but whosoever committed adultery with a woman like an understanding, he that do it, right, who, who that does it, destroy his own soul, man. You, you, you really destroying yourself, man. You know? <laughs> Come on, man. Let's see. Verse 26. It's 25. Let's not after her beauty in thy heart. Neither let her take thee with her eyelids, right? Don't be, hey, you say right here, don't, hey, don't be seduced by her, man. For by means of a whore's woman, a man is brought to a piece of bread, and the adulteress will hunt for the precious life, man. It's gonna cost you your life, man, because the Lord, 
gonna judge you, man, for that wicked act, man. You know? So he did, verse 29, so he did go into his neighbor's wife. Whosoever touches her should not be innocent, right? So you're not gonna uh, go unpunished, man. Lord got you, man. And the Lord got something for her, man. You see? But let a sinner fall upon her, man. You gotta understand, too, these women are Israelites. These women are Yaikov. They know how to supplant. <laughs> you know, they know how to finesse and supplant. So marvel not. So this is Leviticus 20 and 10. And the man that committed adultery with another man's wife, even he that committed adultery with his neighbor's wife, the adulterer and the adulteress, so should be put to, you know, deletion, man. Put to death. It's the scripture say, the Bible say, man. We know they're trying to ban the Bible, whatever. But this is what the Bible say, man. You know, we'll commit adultery, both of y'all, right? <laughs> you know, should be put to death, man. <laughs> but right, this is class 37. And then the scriptures we're talking. It's class 37, 26. And I find more bitter than death, the woman, right? The woman, I find more bitter than death, the woman. I find more bitter than death, the woman whose heart is nails and nets. It's like in her bands, it's bands. Exactly, man. These women, you know, supplant you, put you on, put you on, on, on papers, put the white folks in your business, right? Now you paying child support for, you know, and don't let you sign a birth certificate. It's, it's too late when, when you find out the child ain't yours. You still got to pay. This is a wicked society, man. So when I find more bitter than death, the woman whose heart is nails and nets, and her band, and her hands is bands. Who shall please in the most high shall escape from her, man. But the sinner shall be taken by her, man. So, <laughs> let's continue. Behold, this have I found, said the preachers, counted one by one to find out that count was yet my soul seeking. But I find not. One man among a thousand have I found. Right, so King Solomon said, well, I found one righteous man out of a thousand. Just one righteous man, right? But a woman among all those, right, amongst a thousand, one woman, have I not found, right? No, come on, these women ain't it. These women ain't righteous, man. Do how we all die, man. You think you got to, um, <laughs> come on, bro. <laughs> Let me go and get the scriptures, man. I don't want to make the lesson prolong. You just letting the scriptures do the talking, man. But these women ain't right, man. She ain't right. Got the flowers, <laughs> it's 2024. Hey, this shit diabolical, man. You know? Oh, boy. <laughs> this um, Isaiah 32 and, and 9. Come on, man. Please don't. Okay. I thought I lost it. Isaiah 32 and 9. Rise up, you women that are at ease. Right? Rise up, you women that are at ease. And these women are at ease. They were complacent. Right? They complacent. And they were at ease in the Hebrew. Is Sha'anan, Sha'anan. It's a careless, wanton, arrogant. Like these women proud, you know? They proud, they <laughs> walk with wanton eyes, as the scriptures say. Wanton, man. And they careless as hell as well. You know? Wanton. Let's look that up. Wanton, the dictionary, right? They say two, sexually unrestrained or having many, having many casual sexual relationships, man. Many, many unsex partners, man. Got a Monday, Tuesday nigga, Wednesday nigga, <laughs> you know. <laughs> Come on, they got many of them. Sexually unrestrained, growing profusely, um, now sexually unrestrained woman. Right, behave in a sexually unrestrained way. Right, so the origin at the bottom of the screen, right, Middle English, one to wing, rebellious. And these women are rebellious, man. And we know rebellious is the sin of witchcraft, man. These women are into witchcraft as well, man. But yeah, it said rebellious, man, right? Refuse to come in order, you get into this, um, the subjection, right, under the man. These women are rebellious, man. 
It said lacking discipline, right? They don't have no discipline at all, man. No discipline, no shame, in, you know, in that game, right? Lacking discipline from one, which means badly. Old English, Tugin, Tugin, if I'm saying that right, meaning train. So badly trained. These women are badly trained. They lacking discipline. Who do, who, who train these women? Esau, man. Right? Hands on your knees. Shake that asshole. Right? Throw that ass in the soaker. The car, the bees, Megan the Stallion. Babylon the Great. And Melga, man. These women are badly trained. That's why they lack discipline, man. So why is up you women to all your ease? You kill us. Let's continue. Isaiah 32 and 9. Why is up you women to all your ease? Hear my voice, you kill his daughters. Give ill to my speech. Many days and years should ye be troubling. That's what we telling you women. A great humbling, right? A great humble. <laughs> you know, I'm saying it, saying it right, but pretty much the Lord about to humble you women, man. A time like no other is coming. It's that many great miseries should be done to them. They have walking great pride, second as ain't fifty. It say for many great misery, right? Great misery, man. That's <laughs> that's hard time, bad times, right there. But it's, it's gonna be great, man. Shall be done to them that in a lot of time. So dwell in the world because they have walking great pride. These women walking great pride, man. Why? Because of the teacher, they master Esau, they daddy Esau, man, the white man. Badly trained these individuals, these unstable creatures, man. And the scriptures call you bitches as well. You know, so I'm gonna get it. So Acts 26 and 25. Shameless woman should be counted as a dog, right? But she that is shame faced will fear the Lord. And these women not shame faced. So they don't fear the Lord, man. You know? They don't fear the Lord. So they are counted as dogs, man. Let me see something. So, verse 9. So, at 26 and 9. The whoredom of a woman may be known in her, in her heart to looks and eyelids. Right? They got the eyelashes past their nostrils. Come on. We could tell the whole man. You know, if it walk like a duck, if it talk, what the, you know, talk like a duck, what the fuck is it, man? It's cold as hell outside, her ass showing, her zipper um, fly open, her titties out. What the fuck you think it is, man? You know, if that daughter be shameless, keep her in straightly, lest she abuse herself through over much liberty. Watch over in a pewter eye and marvel not if she trespass against thee. So don't be surprised, man. You know, she will open her mouth as a thirsty traveler when he had found a fountain and drink of every water near her by every hedge where she sat down and open her quiver against every elbow. Why she just open her legs for from anybody for, for anybody Dante, Jante, Randy, you know, nigga named Carlos, whoever it don't matter. The nigga got money, drive a Hellcat. You know, and sell dope, she going, you know. All you got to do is ask a woman, do, you know, do you want to uh, fire a blunt up? You, or you want to pop a pill? And she going, man. You in. You in there, man. These women, <laughs> man, these women are nasty, bro. This is uh, back in Isaiah 32 and 9. Why is up, you women, that are ease? Hear my voice, you killer's daughters. Give ear unto my speech. Many days and years shall ye be troubled, you killer's women. For the vengeance should fail, the gathering should not come, man. Tremble, you women, the are ease, right? Throw off, right? Throw off your complacency, man. <laughs> Be trouble, you kill as one. Strip you, make you build, and go sackcloth upon your loins, man. The Lord about to humble you women. You know, a great humbling is coming, man. <laughs> you know? And you know what? I'm going to end with Isaiah 13. Because you niggas are proud too, but this pretty much about the woman right now, the black woman. You know, and if the shoe fit, you know, grab two of them, right, and walk. This is Isaiah 13 and 11. And I will punish the world for their evil and the wicked for their iniquity. And I will cause the arrogancy of the proud to cease. And I will lay low the heartiness of the terrible white. So, exactly, is this what I wanted? 
yeah, this, yeah, this the point. You know, Lord willing, this lesson was edified to let to going in on that. Uh, this generation is, is cooked, man. You know what? You know what? Let's end it with Leviticus. <laughs> One more time. And the man that committed adultery with another man's wife, and even he that committed adultery with his neighbor's wife, the adulterer and the adulteress should surely be put to death, right? Be deleted. So once again, give our praises to Yahweh by Shem, Yahweh Shah.